Welcome back to our channel at Soccer Zone USA. My name is DJ Divini and you're probably here because you feel like you have wide feet and you feel that you have a hard time getting your foot into the right boot. So we're here to help you out. How do you actually know if you have wide feet? Well, you can actually use the chart that we have for you here and it'll show you if you measure in a certain way, it'll tell you if your feet are actually wide or if you're in the normal range. Most people are actually in the normal range, but we're still going to give you tips that'll help you get a better fit if you feel like you still have wide feet. Tip one, if you have wide feet and you're trying to get the best shoe for your game, go with a wide cleat. There aren't many brands that offer this, but New Balance is one of them. They actually offer a cleat made for wide feet. But if you're not gonna go with New Balance and you're shopping Adidas, Nike, Puma, the first thing to do is try the cleats on to get the best fit. For help with that, you can go to our other video on properly sizing your shoes when you're trying on at the store so you can get help to get the right actual size. A big mistake that most people make when thinking that they have wide feet is because their feet hurt in the midfoot area. So like on this, their feet hurt around this area on the outside. And so naturally you think the shoes are not wide enough. But what tends to happen is you put too much space in the top part of the shoe near the toes, and then your foot is actually in the wrong position in the shoe. So the wide part of your foot is now lining up with the narrower part of the boot, causing your foot to hurt and feel very uncomfortable. So when you're trying cleats on to get the right fit, make sure you get a tighter cleat so that your feet max out the shoe while not bunching up your toes. That way, the widest part of your foot will be positioned with the widest part of the cleat. Tip two, go for a shoe that has the ability to change shape a little bit. For example, the Predator Edge is a pretty rigid model with a synthetic material, and this isn't gonna stretch or change at all to conform to your foot over time. Uh, and at the beginning, they might need a little bit of time to break in, like a normal shoe does, but if you actually have wide feet, these aren't gonna really stretch out for you. Another thing you can do if you have the wide feet is you can go for a material that's lighter and thinner. So even though these might not change shape too much over time, there's a little bit more wiggle room here in the material as you can see that'll move out and stretch with your foot inside. The best thing you can do though if you do have wide feet is go for an authentic leather material. This will actually stretch and conform to your foot over time a lot better than the synthetic or more rigid models. Tip three, and this is really up to your own discretion, is come up with different hacks and ways that'll make the shoes more comfortable for you. For example, if you're somewhere between a size nine or a size nine and a half, and you wanna go up a size to the nine and a half where they're a little bit looser, try wearing thicker socks when you have those cleats on to make them more comfortable. If this is causing your foot to be in the wrong position, go down to the nine, and if they're too tight, wear thinner socks to make them the most comfortable. If they're still too tight, and you wanna use a hack that I've used before in college, I don't highly recommend it, but it does work. On certain shoes, is you can actually take the insole out of the shoe and wear the cleats bare. The downside to this is they're actually a little less comfortable because you can feel the pressure points on the bottom but for me, it did tend to make the cleats much more uh, tight and conform to the foot and not cause pain on the outside of the foot where we would complain about those wide feet issues. So overall, if you have wide feet, use these tips, try on the shoes to make sure you get the right fit, don't size too big so that your foot is in the wrong position, try different hacks by getting thicker socks, thinner socks, maybe even taking the insole out, whatever you have to do to get the right fit to maximize your performance and your comfort. If you want any of the products that we showed in the video, just hit the links in the description so you can get the best deal. And if you enjoyed this video or got something out of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the newest videos that we put out so we can help you make the best buying choices.